Coffee Break Collection 15, The World of Work. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. An Account of Several Workhouses for Employing and Maintaining the Poor Published in 1725 Limehouse Hamlet Stepney, June 1724 Here is a very handsome and commodious brick house, built twenty-five years since, for lodging the poor of this hamlet, but was not applied to the present use till after the act of the ninth of King George was passed to encourage the setting up of workhouses, when, by a subscription among the principal inhabitants, it was fitted up to receive the poor and was opened april twenty eighth seventeen twenty four the number of poor now in it are as follows twenty three men and women seven boys and girls in all thirty above half of them are unfit for labor but about a dozen of them are employed in picking oakum at which they earn about four or five shillings a week in the whole which is applied toward the maintenance of the house. Note well, old ropes are bought for five shillings the hundred weight, and the oakum is sold for twelve shillings the hundred weight. This steward of the house is a pensioner of the hamlet, and is allowed five pounds four shillings per annum, beside his maintenance and lodging, etc., in the house but the principal care is in eight trustees and a cashier, some of whom visit the house constantly once, sometimes twice a week, buy provisions, and give all other necessary directions. As to diet, they have flesh four times a week, and with it such roots as are in season, and the steward, having been a seafaring person, feeds them after the method used on shipboard that is by joining four of them in a mess and the meat is boiled in three pound pieces one of which is a mess for four persons and the same course is observed for milk bread beer etc by this rate a poor person is maintained at the rate of two shillings ten pennies or three shillings per week including all petty disbursements and incidental charges even firing and lodging not accepted for the hamlet pay ten pounds per annum ground rent the children in this house are all young and helpless and therefore are sent to a school in the neighborhood at the public charge till they are eight years of age and then they are bound out apprentices till the age of twenty-four according to the act of parliament note well this hamlet with some addition will become a distinct parish as soon as the church now building is finished end of an account of several workhouses for employing and maintaining the poor published in seventeen twenty five